Thanks for coming back with us. Now, the military coup in Turkey appears to have ended just as quickly as it started. Tonight, growing questions about what it means for people with ties to Turkey and tourism. News 5's Chad Petrie has the story. People celebrating in the streets just hours after a coup attempt by the military. And there's some concern over what this means for a strong U.S. ally in the Middle East. There's typically always an expectation of something about to go down. Magali Chirpala lives in Mobile, spent a year in Turkey, and still has family and friends over there. You can count her among a number of people who believe the coup may have been staged to help President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. So there's an assumption, at least by some of the Turkish people, that this was just a stunt to gain popularity for him and make him seem like he was a good leader. Whether you're a supporter helping round up soldiers in the street or a skeptic, Everyone's just a little concerned for their friends and relatives still in Turkey. They're calm civilians, but they do go to the protests sometimes, so that's why I was worried. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I think on the Asian side where they live, things are a lot more calm. And whether Erdogan is a popular leader or not, there is definite worry about speaking out against his government. He took over everything in Turkey. Uh, he can do anything he, uh, he wants. An hour after speaking to this Turkish woman via Skype, she asked me to conceal her face and change her name out of fear something would happen to her for being honest. There are no people against him in the military. Everybody uh, serves him already. A live stream bombing at the parliament building is some of the scariest video we've seen in a country where a coup can apparently rise and fall within hours. Chad Petrie, News 5. The Turkish president is now calling for the extradition of a U.S. exile, Fethullah Gulen, who he says is responsible for the coup.